And we are back with the Margie Greatness. I'm a little bit surprised because I, Bob, and Hockley were just sitting down. So, but yeah. So, welcome everyone to chapter 252, the first chapter of 2015. <sighs> Let's go. I was here in order to tell him about Amaturan. Yeah, that, that's just a big mistake. <laughs> that's a big mistake. It might not be that easy. Well. Shorty and I will keep guard. Eh? Leave us these. Ah, my old friends and Alibaba. It will be easier if we speak alone, right? Well, now sit here. Okay. Anyway, I have to start talking. Hey, Harker, you came to talk to you. I see you. What is it? He's just smiling! Well, you grew taller, didn't you? What? Did he? What? Huh? Uh, what? Uh? Look, you're a lot taller than w than when we were in Zargon. You really are a cheeky guy. Fucking Zargon! Motherfucking Zargon! Oh, my boy! Oh? Dot, dot, dot. What's that? That, that continues to fucking beep. Hold on a minute! Hold on! Fucking beeping. What was that? Maybe we can go back to how we were in the past after all. He's planning to kill Morgiana! Huh? Jeez, people like you are more than a year past and you didn't change a bit, Alibaba. He's smiling. Thank God he's back. <laughs> this is surprisingly well for the most part. Oh, Judah and Aladdin. Well, Alibaba, will Alibaba be alright? I had a bad feeling when I saw him, saw Hock with you again. Da -da -da. What's up? What's getting your panties all twisted, shorty? Dude, uh, <laughs> oh, that smile. Well, so far, Hockley and Alibaba are getting along swimmingly, whilst Dude are and Aladdin <laughs> just, you know, well, Aladdin's just, like, you know, a little bit, I suppose, tense around him whilst. Judas probably enjoying the company after what I found out to be true in um, Belial's dungeon. Motherfucking Belial. 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 <laughs> really? I can do the full Giniquit now, you know. I see. You took your sweet time, huh? Shut up, idiot. What the hell, Hakryu? Hakryu! What? You didn't totally change after all. What? I was thinking about how to act around you after you got your revenge, became emperor, and did a lot of other things. But Hakri was Hakri after all. Alibaba, I'm tired of this. Can you get to the point? No reason <laughs> why you are here. <laughs> here we are, eh? <laughs> you came here to join me in order to get back Balbod. We have to invade it together. It's occupied by Cohen, right? Oh, he's back to his normal... Well, <laughs> he's back to his other self. And that rate face. Invade Balbard. Yes, we will make Balbard fall... And attack Cohen. Then you will have your kingdom back. I was suggesting to take back my country after I turn it into a sea of flames. Exactly. But this will be... Far better than when we were controlled by Cohen. With this, both of us can finally get our countries back. Whilst yours is fine, but whilst it's destroyed. <laughs> Hark you, buddy, you're not really good at the haggling or the negotiation part, to be perfectly honest. I mean, if you, ugh, you could have had a little bit of patience and, like, manipulated him. What? But I have. No, what? Was Hockey really like this? I have to tell him the truth. Yeah, you're just going to add um, fuel to the fire. I already said that. You're wrong, Hakuyo. I came here to tell you to stop war against Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? What? Listen, Hakuyo. I'll farm a monster. Summon an enemy called Il Ilha. A being far worse than they are. You saw it already. Male vessel users like us can't fight against each other when we sh have to stop him. Oh, do you know? Eh? If you're talking about the summit, Judah showed it to me. Oh, I was right. I learned everything about. I learned everything after he showed me that story through his long-range clairvoyance magic. 
Geez, things would have been far more simple if we obtained that information before fighting against Gilkin. Oh, okay. The fuel to the fire was already added, but I had a feeling Judah did do that, and he was playing ignorance up until now. You already knew that, then? But even if that's true, it is no reason for me to ally myself with Cohen. I can't trust him. Our farm and probably has other members aside from Gilkin. I don't think she's dead, and that's worrying. But who do you think are the ones who pretended the organization did not exist in the last few decades and only reaped benefits from them? It was Cohen and his lot. In the future, when a second or third Gilkin shows up... Eh? Why would Cohen even tell you they won't do exactly the same thing? That's why. Oh my lord. I'll kill K Cohen. Right now in this world, he is a villain that should be hated far more than Al Farman. Oh god. Alibaba's terrified. How could you? You? Oh my, what it kind of rape fate there? Oh my god. You know match for your mother. But your mouth is gone, and I don't know if that was intentional or accidental. But still, that's just freaky. You look like an ood. No, not, a, not an ood. A silence. What is that look in your eyes? You're talking about your cousin, and... No, I thought he was his stepbrother. No, even I know a little about the dif difficulties between siblings in the royal family. But he is... He thinks that his own family is hopeless to this extent. What kind of life did he live to turn into this? Well, having his brothers burnt by his mother? I suppose I can, you know, <laughs> send a guy into depravity and having his kingdom taken away from him. How could you are untreated like a, you know, an outsider? And then, you know, Cohen planning to kill him. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that helped as well. Well, what the hell is that face? Well, it's not like we c can ignore you here. Even Cohen would do something about it after knowing the truth about Alma Tehran. In that case, what will you do, Alibaba? The chance to get Balwa back is in front of you. You can join me and defeat Cohen, and yet you aren't doing anything. I'm sure that the subjects of the former kingdom of Balbad must be really happy with an incredibly incredible prince like yourself. Oh, God. Stop. I cannot break negotiations here. Good man! Well, negotiations have already broken down. Shit the friggin' hell. Oh my. I just don't want Barbara to become a battlefield. And I don't want to ignore Aladdin's desires either. He doesn't want to make the world just like Alamitran. But what should I do? He's a totally different person. He wasn't the type of guy who would suggest to just assault Barbara and still... Jesus. That's right. Think and don't give up. He was an honest, kind, and good person before. I'm sure that he would not want to hurt nor fight the people he holds dear. <laughs> oh, God. This is hilariously sad. Hark to you. What will you do about your sister? Hmm. Good. Wait, no, actually, I think he did kill her as well. Technically. You told me that your sister is the only member of your family you care for. They told me at the summit that the Co Empire's army is gathering at Cohen's side. Your sister would also be called back to Barbad, right? Besides, if we start a war, the friends you fought side by side in the past. Aladdin. Morgiana! She's gonna die. I can feel it. And more importantly, the people of your own kingdom will be heard. During the civil war in Barbad, I had to kill the person I considered like my own older brother. And I don't want that to happen to you too. Hmm? I see you're incredible after all. What? What do you mean? Just as, as you have guessed, bringing out my sister now would have some effect on me. If we talked about this a few weeks ago, I would have probably taken your hand. 
You can understand when people in front of you are the most vulnerable. Eh? Really? Can he? I thought that was Aladdin's quirk. What the hell are you talking about, Hakuryu? Alibaba. I finally realised what kind of person you are. Well... Uh, to be fairly honest, I think this is the only time he's ever used something like that to his gain. Or for, ma or for manipulative reasons, kind of. But still, it is a fair, um, fair question at the end of the day. What? You naturally approach someone while telling them that you wish for their happiness. Then you take what is in the his heart that he doesn't want anyone to touch and oh Jesus oh god ooh look away from that you take it rip it out and do anything in order to realize who's there is that supposed to be Comey? What do you think would be the right world? Your hypocrisy makes me sick. Negotiations have now broken down. My sister and I are in discord and I didn't want you to touch that argument. But that's fine with you, right? It doesn't matter how I feel as long as it is for the sake of this world and for the sake of Bulbud. <laughs> You're not wrong. World! Uh, it's probably a last minute thing. Barbard, definitely. Oh my god, those eyes. Hark you. Your righteousness is merely an illusion and everyone loses track of what they really think. Even more, Gianna and maybe even Aladdin was deceived by you. Well, Valley Barbara didn't really do anything to Mordiana. Um, It was basically mostly Aladdin's work. I'm going for the anime now. But Alibaba, are you sure that there is at least something right in this world? Well, I suppose he did take away Mordiana from you, kind of. I mean, they're not really together yet. There should be as many right ways as the people out there, but... Well, he doesn't know that you two kiss, so yeah. Your light is too bright, and I was on the verge of taking your hand. In the world I aspire for, you are the kind of person that I'm, that I most desire to eliminate. Therefore, oh God, is he taking control of him with Belial? You will die here, Alibaba. Ah! No! 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 You bastard! Don't end on me! Ah! It's times like these where my cynical side goes into overdrive. I always always have the opinion that friendships never last. And being proved right was that in this chapter. I mean, I've been proved right on a number of occasions, but yeah. Most of the time when it comes to anime, sometimes friendships repair. I mean, yeah, but from the way this is going, I don't think it will repair. Now, like I said last time, uh, I I had the idea that Alibaba may die, but um, yeah, I was questioned about it. But I did remember seeing a um article. Um, I don't know how long ago by the um, manga creator um, that three p important people no, but, uh, how should how's it would um, favorites I don't know three well-known characters I suppose are going to die I mean I don't know if it was three or a little bit less but obviously Aladdin can't be killed because he's, he's like, you know, the main character of Maggi itself. But Aladdin and Morgiana can die. I mean, I mean, Alibaba and Morgiana can die. I mean, like, 
uh, with the belly old thing. I mean, like after seeing that, uh, I was like, oh god, she's gonna kill off Morgiana. But this, I have a theory of how the fight is gonna go down. Like, obviously, Hot you uh, uh, and Alibaba are gonna go uh, gonna go balls deep into the fight. Aladdin's gonna sense it or see it, but then obviously Judah is gonna stop him. Now, I know that Haku is stronger than Alibaba. I mean, he was stronger than him to begin with, but now he's just stronger than him um, even more now, especially with the power of Belial. And, you know, Zargon. Whether Aladdin is stronger than Judah now remains to be seen. I mean, because they haven't had a fight since Balbard, I think. Yeah, since Barbard and that, yeah. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, that's still a part of Barbard, so, yeah, idiot. Um, but then again, the only way he did win was with, you know, Alibaba stopping Kasim in his black gin form. Uh, so, yeah, um, with a 1v1 fight, I mean, remains to be seen, but... Yeah, you never know. So then, the chapter. Starts off normal. And I was expecting a fight or like something like this to begin with in the beginning. But, you know, Alibaba was just like, you know, trying to see if his friend was still there. And he was to begin with, you know. They were having like, you know, a little bit of banter in the first two pages. And, um... Yeah, you know, well, not first two, what was it? Uh, first five or so. Yeah, first five. And then, Hakuyu, you know, he wanted to get to the point. He was like, you know, getting a little bit pissed. Like, you know, start with all this antics. Get to the point of why you're here. Um, but he wanted him to join Balbard. Now, I'm sure, like I said, if he went into a more manipulative side, or he didn't intend to have Balbar go up in smokes, and I'm sure La uh, uh, Alibaba would have joined him. But, yeah, um, Haku was really good with negotiations. I mean, he's more along the lines of fight to get his own way. Uh, which is kind of childish, but, yeah, dipl diplomacy is key. And that isn't a strong point. And to be perfectly honest, I think that will be his downfall, if nothing else, you know, diplomacy. So, yeah. Um, Alibaba is trying to appease to him, which is kind of, you know, thing. You know, he was going to play the, um, il, uh, the Almatran card, but obviously Judah showed him, which, yeah, I, I had a funny feeling he did, um, through the clairvoyance magic, and he was just like, oh, okay. So... But the thing that I thought, you know, like, you know, bring the Elila down, you know, help with the destruction more, like, let's use that to our gain. He didn't mention that. So I suppose he isn't going to use Il Heal Ha. Like, to w I suppose after, if he does kill Cohen, he will go for Elila. But that's another thing entirely. Let's just see where, if and when he does kill Cohen. So, yeah. Um... And then, Ala, Ala, oh my god, those Alibaba, Aladdin, they both Ala, have L. <laughs> Ala, Aladdin, Ali, Alibaba. Uh. So yeah, um, ha oh, oh god, uh, uh. Alibaba plays the, um, you know, the um, personal card. And to be perfectly honest, I didn't think he was kind of a deceptive guy, I mean like... He was just asking the hard questions. I mean, that isn't really using it to his gain, but I suppose getting people to his side can be considered that as much. But at the same time, it's their decision to go with him. Granted, he is using something against them, but at the same time, it's a question that needs to be asked. Like, what will you do about your sister? Your friends, Morgiana, me, and Aladdin. What will he do? I mean, that is something that he needs to know. He wants to know if they got, if they're still friends. If he still cares for his sister, will will he go for the sake of, if not him, but Morgiana or Aladdin or his sister, 
to ally with Cohen until the threat is um, basically appeased. Well, actually, whether he had that intention in mind uh, now remains to be seen, but um, uh, I f think that even if he did ask that, he wouldn't do that, but yeah. Saying like, you know, oh god, the way that's drawn, that's just like, you know, freaky as hell. Oh god, feel dizzy. So yeah. Hot you doesn't want this kind of person within his world, his desired world, because I don't think he's being hypocritical, um, Alibaba, I mean, but looking at it through Margamet. Oh shit. Why the hell is Malcolm at Reem and Judah are there? Yeah, I'm just looking at the things now. I just caught the eye of Malcolm at. But that aside. Anyway, um, he needs to die. Alibaba needs to die so Hakuyu can obtain his dream. His dream world. And then he will go for Cohen. So I suppose he he's just using Alibaba to sedate his um, anger until he sees Cohen. So yeah. We found out that Hakuryu knows about Almataran. Um, he won't side with Cohen for the sake of his sister, Alibaba, or even Morgiana. Um, he intends to kill Alibaba. So the fight they set for a fight. Oh, what else was I going to say? I forgot. No. Oh yeah. Again, whether he's going to use Ilhila to his advantage, again, remains to be seen un unless he kills Cohen, because I don't think he's going to die here. Whether Alibaba does, uh, again, remains to be seen, but... <laughs> Hold on. Um, from, well, at the moment, from a story perspective, besides what he's saying, like, yes, we have a reason to stop him, but no one else has a reason to besides Cohen. I mean, like, well, actually, besides the destruction, no one really, besides Cohen, has really the incentive to kill Harkaryu. And to me, I think that if he is going to fight him, Alibaba will die, and then everyone else will have the incentive to fight and stop, and if so, need be, kill him. Because... Yeah. So far, Alibaba does have motivation to stop him. Whether that he kills him, another story, Cohen has something that has reason to kill him but for selfish reasons of course Aladdin mm. I don't know so yeah 8 out of 10 good setup revelation with Harkview and like you know his knowledge and you know a change in his character so yeah good day